Alright, how's it going folks? It's me Tangosis coming at you with another video. Today we're checking out finding the soul orb. Um, first things first, we're just going to turn the audio down a wee bit because it actually is quite loud. There we go. Uh, secondly, big thanks to the good folks at East Asia Soft for review copy. That's always greatly appreciated. So first things first, let's go ahead and check out the settings. I know I just said that earlier, but... Uh, subtitles, all in language. In English, vibration on head bob, I'll turn that off. Difficulty. Um, okay, looks like that's the difficulty options. It started things off at very easy, so if we're keeping things simple, we'll just keep it as that. Controls, that should be fine. Audio, everything else sounds fine, and just that turned down the volume, so that's us good to go. New game. We'll probably try the first level or so and see how we get on, shall we? It's done by the same fella that did the Dead Tree of Rancherina, that their Drizzle Path Deja Vu game, that their... I forgot the name off it, but it was also really good, and I got a trophy already for <laughs> Chapter 1. Alright boys, let's go. I should probably add, I am playing this on just my ordinary PS4, and goodness me, the game looks really, really nice. Dang some. Like, this isn't even me playing it on the PS5. I would do it on a PS5, but whenever I hook up the headset tip, you see, there's a bit of a weird background noise on it, so I, for review purposes, I usually just stick to doing these types of games on the PS4, but this is just on the ordinary PS4. This isn't even on the PS4 Pro, it's just my ordinary PS4 that I use for, well, reviews and whatnot. Alright, looks like we're off we go. It actually runs and plays quite smooth as well. Rotating's a bit slow, but eh, we'll be grand. Looks like we hold down R1 to run. I wonder if we can, like, toggle that to do it automatically just for handiness. Oh, L2 or R1 works. Alright. Looks like there's no toggle for it, so I'll just hold down L2 or whatever and take it from there. So it shouldn't be too bad, so... <coughs> Alright, the birds are just casually flying away, that's grand. Okay, so it looks like we have to head up a mountainside somehow. How are we gonna do it? Well, we're just gonna take our time and dander about, I guess. Okay, it looks like we can stand and use our plates and it spits out the lure for us. I'd read out the whole thing, but I'm sure you guys can read. At least I hope you can, so you can pause the video if you want to read it. I already have, because I'm a fast reader, so... Um, let's take it down to about then. Looks like we can't really interact with any of the barrows. No uh, trophy for interacting with them. If you were playing the Atelier games, you probably would get one for that, but... Or Atelier, I don't know how you're supposed to say it. Um... Let's just take a wee dander about here and see what we can do. Nice big shield, just chilling on the wall. Usually you'd be best keeping them inside, but let's just... Okay, so I crushed the statue and I got a trophy for it. So, uh, that's handy dandy. It seems that there's collectibles in the game by way of those air statues, and I think there's also gargoyle statues that you can shoot. So, if you like collecting collectibles, or in this case, uh, crushing statues somehow. I don't think we have a hammer on it or anything, so we just stood on it, so... You know what, let's just roll with it. That's fine with me. Looks like we can... No, we can't go that way. But I do have to say, I do like the way they've made the area. It is really well made, I gotta say. Okay. It's set in stone, now it's uh, not the time. Alright. I wonder if this is like after whatever all these wizard folk have been doing. So we'll take a wee dander further on. A tree or a big bone? Hmm. As I said, it does look good on the PS4, so I'm just wondering how it would look on the PS5 whenever I get the... I'd probably add folks, if you pick us up the game, You'd be pleased to know that it's cross-generation release, meaning that 
If you pick it up on PS4, you also get the PS5 copy, or the other way around if you have a uh, PS5, and you can also play the PS4 version on it. Just reading the dialogue here. I said I usually just do these games on the PS4 because of the um, background noise issue that my headset has on the PS5. So, um, unless there's a way to handle that or something, I'll probably just stick to doing these types of games on the PS4 in the meantime, just for handiness. She muttered her chant that soon became distant. Hear ye, I command you to be the so orb for a lifetime. The sun shone brightly in the sky above them, the sun then lined up an exact path with the rotating meteorite. Close your eyes, she commanded. Oh goodness. Alright, let's take a- oh goodness. Just casually going up a mountain and a big skull statue just appears. Alright, so it looks like it's not doing anything. Just chose up there. That caught me by surprise, I gotta say. Everyone obeyed, the sun shot it. Alright, well. As I said, I'm a fast reader, so if you guys want to pause and read the dialogue, go on ahead. Let's keep heading up a wee mountainside here, just while looking at the big statue. Don't know about you, but if I were out for a walk, and a big statue like that appeared in front of me, just casually looking down, I'd be like, well, let's uh, go back the way I came, man. And of course, another one appears. And another tree there, too. Now, this one doesn't look too much better. The helmet's pretty cool. Uh, looks like he's missing his arms. I've got some bolts coming out of him, so, uh, that's nice. Okay, what's this one? Alright, up we go. So far, definitely has like an interesting story off it by way of those their little golden plate things. And I have to say, the map is really nicely made. Looks like we're gonna go. Is that a giant hand just chilling on the ground? Goodness. Okay, let's just stand on and see what happens. Okay, so I just left this up. Alright, well, that's uh. That's one way to start the game off, just casually been lifted up by a giant hand, and it took us to a nice area. Which is nice. So, let's take a wee dander about then, shall we? Okay, but the screen's kinda just fading to black here. What's happening? Did that just teleport us to a new area? Can I move? Yeah, I can. I should move forward, okay, so we can't go back where we came, so... If you do miss anything... At the start of the game, it looks like there was like a chapter or level select. So if you do miss one of those air statues for any trophies, it looks like you can go back and pick them up. He didn't think so, he raised his staff into the air. Large stream of water. Yeah, sounds exciting, let's go. Pardon the snuffs, by the way, I'm still got a touch of the code. Nice big statue just chilling up on top of that mountain. Okay, should we head to the right or to the left? Well, that's a big rock, so... Um... I think we'll head over here to the right and see what's here little house here. See if we can get ourselves a nice big cup of tea or coffee or hot chocolate. I doubt we'll get any of those, but we'll see what happens. So it looks like it might be a blacksmith's cottage. Looks like we're tanning on some leather. And there's a big barrow just chilling on a rock for some reason. Alright, can we go inside the house? Yeah, we can, and it's empty. Oh, well. Well, we got a crossbow, so that's cool. The teal. Oh, okay, so that's how we do it. 
Can we shoot the explosive arrow? Oh goodness, well that's answered that. Alright, looks like we can't actually shoot the coat. And my thing just went right through it, so I guess that's kind of obvious, but... Alright, let's continue onwards. We got ourselves a kill crossbow, at least. Funny enough, whenever I play Skyrim, I usually like to whip out for crossbow, you see, just for handiness. Guess the job done quite well, you know. It's a good thing I decided to go left, because it looks like there's nowhere to explode and barrow, which requires my crossbow to use, so... There's that. So, for a way to aim down the sights and all, or is it? Alright, so I'm gonna have to just run close and hope for the best. There we go. Seems to be you just have to get it inside that wee box, or at least somewhere close enough. So it's not too bad to use. But nice if it was like an aim down the sights feature, or at least like, make it a wee bit more accurate, but... It gets the job done, so it's not too bad. Or what happens if we actually try to shoot the big statue up there? Okay, nothing. What happens if we shoot the sun? You know how in Skyrim we can do that as part of the vampire quest line? Or the Dawnguard story? Okay, looks like nothing happens. But I've done a funny Easter egg at the very least, but oh well. Let's head on. Okay. Um... That's the idea, you guys can pause if you just want to read the dialogue. I'm just gonna take a wee dander, but real talk, they did do an excellent job with the, with the area. The music's really good as well, I gotta say. So, let's continue onwards then, and... Alright, there's a bat or something over here. I think we'll know what we'll do. Hey, look at that, I even got a trophy. Gargoyle of one. So that's cool. Oh, it wasn't a battle of the gargoyle. Alright, so it looks like we have two forms of collectibles. We have the statues that we can just crush for our fate for some reason. And then we have the gargoyles that we can shoot. Although it seems I've ran out of crossbow bolts. So either there's actually a limited number of bolts or the crossbow goes away once you've used it. Uh, as many times as it's needed, like for exploding barrows or for dealing with the gargoyles. So, there's that. Alright, so we'll continue onwards here and then we'll probably see about that and things off. There's a big seal over this here rock, so. We got an hour crossbow, or. Do we got more bolts? I'm not sure, but I'm sure we'll figure it out as we go along. Nice area, anyway. Alright, so it looks like an hour screen feed, so... Loading. The loading times aren't too bad. Not as long as Skyrim would be from time to time. Alright, Chapter 2, The Tyrant's Kingdom. Alright, so chapters aren't too bad. So it looks like once we hit the black screen, it kind of just progress is on for us, so it definitely cuts down on the whole wandering about. Well, it's kind of like one of my only issues of the Dead Tree of French Arena. Sometimes it got a bit hard to navigate at parts. Like, sometimes it just was me just going around in circles, and I was like, oh, flip, I've been here before, haven't I? That kind of deal. So it definitely does cut down a bit of the wandering around blindly, although depending on whether or not you like doing that to begin with, it might differ for uh, folks. But anyway, that's probably us for ending off today's video for finding the soul orb. So just to summarize things here real quick, definitely looks really good on just the base PS4. Um, hopefully get around giving it a go on the PS5 sometime. As I said before now, the my headset has audio issues with it on the PS5, so uh, in the meantime I have to use it for the PS4, but it does look really good. Um, Definitely an interesting enough story by like the sounds of things by way of those your little golden plate things. The crossbow mechanic is cool for dealing with those gargoyle collectibles and the exploding barrels, so uh, definitely a nice way, way to handle things. I'm enjoying it so far, I'll probably continue playing this and maybe try getting the platinum trophy, so that should be interesting enough. 
But if you guys like walking simulators like The Dead Free of Rancherina and, you know, similar titles, I'm sure you guys will probably enjoy this. But the added bonus of using the crossbow, but um, there you go. So that's it all for today's video, folks. Big thanks again to the good folks at East Asia Soft for a review copy. It's always greatly appreciated. Um, cheers for watching, folks, and I'll catch you next time.